What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. So check this out. So actually I'm on my way to go pick up a um a new engine. Um I don't know if you guys remember, but the Mark III got it running, but as soon as I got it running, uh the harmonic balancer bolt broke right there. And if you can tell, I've just been trying to drill it out and I can't get that bolt out of there. So um there's a guy online, he said he had a 1.8, so I'm just gonna go pick that motor up, uh, just a block, and then I'll meet you guys back here. Well, I'm still kind of running around, but here is the bottom end of the 1.8, and this is gonna go inside of here, and I'm still debating if I want to put that 2.0 head on top of it, but this is the block, on mine, I broke um, that harmonic balancer right there. So, yeah, hopefully this works. And he is coming to pick up his lightweight flywheel because uh, he wants that back. So, yeah, but this is the, the motor. But yeah, I really want to do, I kind of want to do the one, the 1 1.8 bottom with the 2.0 head now i've looked it up online and it says that it does work i'll put that uh article on screen right now but the thing is the 1.8 that i have is a AWD 1.8 and now I'm still learning about these motors and um, the codes that are on the motors like the one like the 1.8 the 1.8 that I bought was an AWD so yeah this 1.8 is an AWD 1.8 and I want to take it and I want to put it 2.0 head I looked it up online and it says that it worked, but I don't know what model. Here is the VIN number. I don't know what model motor this is. Maybe that's it right there. I don't know. I can't really see what the, like it says ASA. I don't know, but I can't really read it right there. But if any of you guys know uh, what motor this is, uh, feel free to comment it down low and if you know and if you know or not will that 1.8 work with this 2.0 head either way i have to pull this 2.0 out because that block i can't use anymore so i have to pull all of this out anyways okay so check that out I'm pretty sure that does not supposed to be like that. It seemed like they took a wire and they wrapped a wire around the throttle body. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be like that. The projects that I inherit. Now I might need a new throttle body if this doesn't work out <laughs> yeah it seemed like they just literally took a wire and wrapped the wire around it check that out that's crazy all right so first part off I won't let you down. <laughs> Those headers are something else, uh, but I managed to get them all off and the headers are off. Now I just need to go ahead and unloosen all of the head bolts and I think there is a couple more mounts in certain places that I have to take off.
but I think I got everything unhooked now. And now I can go ahead and remove off the head. Now check that out. Not too bad. Has a little oil in it. Has a little bit more oil in it. And that one is flooded with, with water. It looks like water. I don't know if that happened when I took the head off or not, but that is definitely full of water. That's definitely full of water. Or, but I am almost down there. And far as the head go, I wonder if the head had any bent valves. And as far as just looking at it goes, with the cams out bent at all. And let's just, let's just take this gasket and see if this gasket will line up with the 1.8. Okay, so. 1.8 block 2.0 gasket i want to know if the holes will line up so huh okay so i want to know if the holes would line up so the first problem that i came into was that the gasket did not sit so this is one of the gasket holding points right here and here is the other one right here now if i put the gasket in the holes it doesn't line up with the holes so it doesn't line. so but if i take it off of the holes if i take it off of these holes and just line it up with the holes itself they do line up with one small problem some of these spots like this need to be like a whole length out, but they're not. They're like a circle. It needs to be like that. So I was thinking about cutting the gasket a little bit and making it fit. So my side face is the 2.0 this 2.0 head does not fit on that 1.8 sad face sad face sad face if you look right here that is where the pin is for the gasket and even on that side it still does not line up the head is just a little too small for the 1.8 but that is a dream crusher so i guess i am going to look for a, a maybe a newer 2.0 head like a mark 4 2.0 head or see if i can find a 1.8 head but to be honest i really do not want to do the 1.8 full swap i'd rather do the one the 1.8 to the 2.0 i like to be different and that's what i kind of want to do and I haven't really seen too many people with that swap. So if any of you guys have any information on that swap, please do let me know. Again, like I said, I am still learning all of these motor codes and what motors, what, what motors are what. So like I said, that 1.8 bottom right there is a AWD. And I finally figured out that this 2.0 right there is a... ABA that's an ABA 2.0 so I'll look it up again but I forgot which 2.0 head they said I could put on that 1.8 but like I said I'm just learning all of these motor codes and yeah so this is gonna be a fail and a this is gonna be a learning process this is going to be a learning process for me 
that way I know what works and what does not work because this is a learning process and it's a good learning process. So I just tried to put an ABA on an AWD and it did not work. An AWA Mark III head on a, I believe that is a Mark IV AWD and the head was just a little too small. But that is what I wanted to do today was get the head off and see if that head will fit on that bottom. So I guess next we just need to pull that bottom in off, get all the accessories off of it. And I really want to clean this bay. So I really do. But now to save that for another time, I did want to get that done today. So I guess I will catch you guys in the next video. Remember guys, have an awesome day. And remember, we all have to start somewhere. It's all about starting.